hello friends in this video we are going to prove that the eigenvalues or you can say characteristics roots of square hermitian matrix are either zero or purely imaginary okay so before we prove that so what do you mean by square hermitian mat matrix or hermitian matrix let me tell you that so what do you mean by hermitian matrix suppose you have a matrix a square matrix okay uh, a square matrix a square matrix a square matrix suppose a okay whose elements are represented by small a i j small a i j means that means if you put i is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 then you're gonna get the element of first row and first column okay if you put i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 2 then a 1 2 that means first row and second column element of first row and second column okay that is what it means okay so a matrix can be represented by this way also right is said to be is said to be is said to be hermitian matrix if if you know a i j this is equal to conjugate of j i right for all for all values of i and j or or you can define this way also a is equal to here a theta so what does it mean a power theta means this is what this is nothing but the transpose of you know transpose of complex conjugate of a its transpose is given by a theta right okay this is transpose transpose matrix of complex conjugate of matrix a right so let me give you an example suppose you have a matrix a which is given by small a b minus i d and uh, here we have b plus i d and c so if you take the complex conjugate of this matrix then what you're gonna have so here you see these two are real so they're gonna remain same then here you're gonna get the complex conjugate of this is b plus i d and that of this is b minus i d b minus i d and c if you take the transpose okay if you take the transpose of this matrix this complex conjugate of a if you take the transpose then what you're gonna get make this row as column a b plus i d and write this row as column again b minus i d c so now here we are getting the same matrix again so that's why this is what hermitian matrix right and let us discuss about uh, isku hermitian matrix okay what is isku hermitian matrix now you see uh, a matrix a square matrix a square matrix is said to be a square matrix a right a square matrix a is said to be skew skew hermitian matrix matrix if if you know negative of this is equal to transpose of its complex conjugate transpose of its complex conjugate that means transpose of complex conjugate of a right suppose we have uh, uh, 
इसको सिमेट लेट अस टेक नाउ लेट अस टेक इट टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ इसको हमेशा मैट्रिक्स सो सपोज वी हैव जीरो ए माइनस आई बी एंड माइनस ए माइनस आई बी देन हियर जीरो सो दिस इज एन इसको हमेशा मैट्रिक्स लेट मी टेल यू हाउ सो इफ यू सी इफ यू फाइंड द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट so its complex conjugate is given by 0 remains 0 a plus ib complex conjugate of a minus ib is a plus ib and that of this is minus a plus ib and here again 0 and if you take the transpose of this right if you take the transpose of this conjugate then you're gonna get so write this one as column a plus i b and uh, a sorry minus a plus i b by zero if you write this row as column okay you're gonna get this and if you see this is equal to nothing but this is equal to nothing but minus of a uh, negative of a let me tell you how so what is a here this one okay so here negative of a is nothing but if you multiply minus one then minus a plus i b so here you're gonna get both positive on multiplication of negative uh, on multiply by you know minus one then you're gonna get this right so this is what we have got here right so this kind of matrix is called isco isco hamilton matrix okay now if you multiply i with a isco hamilton matrix then you're gonna get hamilton matrix okay so not equal if this is square hermitian then uh, sorry if a is square hermitian then a i into a is hermitian right uh, let me show you how okay so here this is square hermitian this example is is hermitian we have already got that okay so if you multiply i with this if you multiply i with a then what are you gonna get you have to multiply here i here also i then it will be i square then here i and it will be i square on multiplying i if you multiply i with a right then what are you gonna get zero into i that's gonna be zero then here we're gonna get sorry here we're gonna get i a plus b that means you can write b plus i a right b plus i a then uh, uh, here you are gonna have minus a then plus b right because i square that's gonna be minus one and minus minus that's gonna be plus right so here we're gonna have plus b minus i a and zero into i again zero so let this uh, let it be b suppose this matrix b b so if you find a conjugate of this matrix then you gonna have zero and conjugate of this is b minus i a and conjugate of this is b plus i a then here is c sorry not c zero okay now take the transpose of this matrix conjugate matrix that means b theta then what are you gonna get then make this uh, row uh, column 0 b minus i a and make this row again column b plus i a 0 so here you see this is again what b this is again we have got b that means we have got that b is equal to Con transpose of the conjugate of b right that's why it is hermitian matrix that means what we have got if a is if a is isco hermitian matrix then if you multiply i then you're gonna get a hermitian matrix right so now let's go back to the question what was the question so we need to prove that uh, the eigenvalues or characteristics roots of isco hermitian matrix either zero or purely imaginary right so let me go to the you know uh, 
let me uh, show you how to prove this first let me clean this page okay so first you see we must know that uh, two facts that that uh, you know all the eigenvalues all the eigenvalues of Hermitian matrix matrix are real are real so we must know this thing and also we should know that if lambda is uh, is a characteristics is a character characteristic just wait characteristics root of a matrix a or you can say eigenvalue of a matrix a then so there must exist another matrix x such that a into x that must be equal to lambda into x right so we must know these two things okay now let's prove okay suppose 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 so here the proof is uh, you know started suppose lambda is a characteristics root or uh, eigenvalue of a Hermitian matrix uh, of a isco Hermitian matrix suppose isco Hermitian matrix say A so that so that a x is equal to lambda x so if this is the eigenvalue of uh, isco hermitian matrix then it must obey this condition that i have already given okay here you see this condition right and and if a is skew hermitian skew hermitian then as i have already explained earlier then i a must be hermitian i have already explained earlier with an example right so if if i a is hermitian and uh, lambda is eigenvalue of this isco hermitian then i lambda must be eigenvalue of the hermitian matrix because you see lambda is the eigen is the eigenvalue of this matrix a isco hermitian matrix and if a is isco hermitian then i a i into a gives the hermitian matrix then i into lambda must be uh, you know uh, eigenvalue of this Hermitian matrix right so therefore we can write therefore therefore I into lambda is uh, so instead of writing this uh, if uh, if you know uh, here you can see that clearly that if i is co hermitian matrix and its uh, eigenvalue is lambda that as then uh, in that case we can write this condition right now if i is if i if i is hermitian matrix then it's uh, you know eigenvalue one eigenvalue must be i into lambda because lambda is Hermi uh, eigenvalue of this Hermi is co hermitian matrix a and from that we have uh, if you multiply i with this isco hermitian then you get hermitian so then multiplying i with lambda then you can you're gonna have a eigenvalue of 
it's uh, this Hermitian matrix and if this is Hermitian uh, you know if this is the eigenvalue of this Hermitian matrix then again it must satisfy this condition right then what should we get then we should get that i into a x right i a x must be equal to i into lambda into x right the, uh, we must get this right so that means that means what so simply or you can say that uh, uh, if uh, if you multiply both sides of this equation by i then you can get this one right you can get this one you can write that way okay uh, or simply you can write the, this way that uh, so if you give here equation number one uh, you can write multiplying or simply you can write this way just wait i into equation number one right i into equation number one implies this okay so that means uh, this is the Hermitian right so that means i lambda is uh, eigenvalue or characteristic root of Hermitian matrix i a okay and hence and hence i lambda must be must be real as i have already told you uh, uh, in the previous slide that all the eigenvalues of Hermitian matrix are real that's why this i lambda is real if this is real you know i into anything it can be real if this is comp if this is imaginary right if this is purely imaginary not only imaginary a plus ib is imaginary if you write ib this is purely imaginary okay hope you have understood this okay if you you know to make it real there must be an imaginary number like i2 or 2i then you're gonna get minus 2 which is real number right otherwise you can't have such uh, real number if you put here uh, instead of lambda uh, lambda if you put a uh, you know uh, real number suppose four okay not imaginary then you're gonna get an imaginary number instead of lambda if you put this okay then i lambda cannot be real in that case okay to be real it must be zero then zero into anything is zero or it must be a uh, it must be a purely imaginary numbers like i into four so if you put instead of i lambda uh, you know if i lambda is equal to i into i uh, i4 then you're gonna get minus 4 which is a real number right so hope you have understood these things so let me clear this so you know and and it is it is possible it is possible if and only if lambda is either zero or pure imaginary purely imaginary as we have taken this lambda is uh, eigenvalue of this is symmetric matrix a right so, and which is either zero or purely imaginary that's why we can write thus that's what we have got thus eigenvalue of isco hermitian matrix uh, eigenvalue of isco isco hermitian matrix because uh, this is uh, lambda which is eigenvalue of isco hermitian matrix a okay this is either zero or purely imaginary right eigenvalue of isco hermitian matrix eigenvalues of isco hermitian matrix are either zero or purely imaginary hence put right hope you have understood this see you in the next video thank you